part 28 of Who the Fuck Did I Marry? So I had the phone number, went back to work. Um, My really good friend was like, you better call her. You can use my phone, but call her. So I called her. Um, She answered. Let me use aliases. Um, And the conversation went like this. May I please speak with Barbara? This is Barbara. Barbara, this is Shirley. Shirley who? This is Shirley Jones. I am the wife of Legion. Silence. Then she starts laughing. And she said to me, and I quote, if you were calling me, then I know it's bad. I chuckle and I said to her, I'm not trying to bother you. I'm not trying to disrupt your life. I, I said, I am literally coming to you on some woman to woman shit. I said, because you are probably the only person who can help. (laughs) She and she she listened. She was she was gracious. And she said, um, she said, what is it that you need to know or what is it that you want to know? And I said, I understand that you and my husband talk and communicate. Um, And she was and she immediately said, what? No, we don't. And I said, okay. Um, She said, one thing you need to know about Legion. She said, whatever he tells you, it is a lie. And she said, when he, again, let's go back to part one. I told you guys that when he introduced himself or when we met, we actually had matched on two different sites and he was under two different names. One was an act was like the actual birth name. The other one was a nickname variation of that name. That's the name I know him by. So for example, if his name was Matthew, he had a profile under Matthew and then he had a profile under Matt. I would have known him as Matt. So she said to me, she was like, I don't even know who Matt is. She was like, that's not even his name. And so I knew what his actual government name is. She was like, no one calls him Matt. She was like, that must be his new, um, his new personality. Or she, she was cracking a joke, but she was like, anything he tells you, you need to know is a lie. So I just asked her, I said, what was your experience? I said, because I can tell you the story he told me and she, and she stopped me right there. She said, whatever he told you was a lie. She said, let me guess. He told you I cheated on him. Let me guess. He told you that I wanted money from him. And I said, yeah. And she said, yeah, that's a complete lie. Um, so we had a conversation where she told me how they met. Um, they didn't meet online or anything. I said, well, were you guys ever in California? She said, no. She's like, he, he, she was like, that man ain't never been from past the East Coast. So I said, okay. Um, so you guys have always been in Georgia. And she said, yeah. She's like, we got married in Georgia and we got divorced in Georgia. And she, that's when she asked me, how did you even get my number? She said, because I want nothing to do with him. So how did you get my number? I told, And I said, I'm going to tell you the truth. It ain't going to make me look good. I told her, I said, this is, this is what happened. And this is what led to me doing research. And this is how I got your number. And she laughed. She was like, wow. She, said, she was like, normally I would be freaked out, she said. But under the circumstances, she was like, wow, okay. Um, she said, yeah, if you're calling me, then... It must have gotten pretty bad. She says, so what did he promise you? And we talked for about 30, 35 minutes. She asked me in that phone call, she said, look, I want nothing to do with him. I have not spoken to him since our divorce was finalized. She said, so I would just appreciate 
if you keep me out of whatever's going on with y'all. And I told her, I said, I give you my word. I will never tell him I spoke to you. I said, I give you my word. I said, this, this, this conversation is for me. It is not for me to use in any sort of legal litigation, nothing. This is for me. And, um, I said, I, I said, I don't plan to call you again. I don't plan to be a disrupt, a disruption in your life. I just needed to know how bad is it? And she was, she paused and she said, it's bad. She said, I don't know what all y'all got going on. She said, but if it's anything like what it was for me, it's bad. So we talked a little bit more. She was very encouraging. She was like, girl, do not blame yourself. She said, um, I went through that and I, I had blamed myself. She was like, this is not on us. This is on him. Um, she was like, he is a master liar, a master manipulator. She said, I ignored the red flags. So she was like, do not feel as though this is on you. We talked about um, the ex. There's an ex girlfriend that shares the name that shares the same name as his aunt. She and I talked about her. She said um, the reason why they broke up because the ex girlfriend. I didn't know this. The ex girlfriend had reached out to her about six months before he met me, and so. The ex-girlfriend lives in um lived in Douglasville. On Legion's driver's license, he had a Georgia driver's license with the Douglasville address. What he told me was that it was the address that his sister, because remember I told y'all his sister Shantae lives in Douglasville. She's a nurse married with two kids. So he told me that the address on his license it was his driver's license was to Shantae's house. The ex-wife is telling me, no, that's the address for the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend. He had moved in with her and he created this whole narrative with her. She found out um, that he was lying and she kicked him out. And so I guess after she kicked him out, she then um, reached out to the ex-wife, kind of the way I did for confirmation. And so the ex-wife was just telling me, whatever that man has told you, it is a lie. She said, I got out before it got too bad. Um, She said, because once I knew he was lying, I was out. She was like, because he's never going to change. <laughs> um, and so, again, conversation went on and on. And so finally, we were getting ready to get off the phone. And before we got off the phone, I said to her, I said, if everything is a lie, I said, I have one question for you. And she said, sure. I said, how is your daughter? I said, how is your daughter? Next part coming up.